Um, my name is Sherry Vicaria. I'm the orchestra teacher for the district, and I've been teaching here for nine years. I don't live in the district, but I've been teaching here for nine years. Um, I got laid off in Livermore about, well, in 2006, uh, 2008 when the uh, recession happened. And when I was looking for names and I saw Dixie, I thought it was really strange. I lived in West Texas. <laughs> I live in Odessa, Texas. I could maybe see it happening there, although I would like it, but not here. I'm going to read a letter to you that was written to the Change the Name Committee from Mark Brilliant, who's the director of the UC Berkeley's American Studies program and professor of history. As far as I can tell, the research you provided me with is completely credible, standard fair historical stuff to demonstrate the connection between the Dixie Schoolhouse and by extension, Dixie School District on the one hand, and the Confederate States of America during the Civil War on the other hand. It's hard to imagine that anyone in 1864, when the schoolhouse was constructed, would have thought Dixie referred to anything other than the, uh, the CSA, Confederate States, as the sources you've unearthed confirm, including the recollection of James Miller's very own granddaughter. Sure, it would be nice to have something from James Miller himself, but I don't see any reason to doubt this bit of oral history testimony from Miller's granddaughter conveyed in the application to get the Dixie Schoolhouse added to the National Registry of Historical Places. Mrs. Light, who was James Miller's granddaughter, stated that her grandfather, not only not being a man to turn down a challenge named the building on a dare, Marin County in 1864 was hotly pro-Northern, and the fact that several gentlemen from the South had constructed the first schoolhouse prompted someone to dare James Miller to name the school Dixie, and so he did. More generally, I'm no expert on the etymology of Dixie, but from what I've read, and I'm sure you have too, the prevailing view seems to be that it originally comes from Dixon, as in the Mason-Dixon line, and refers to the territory south of the Mason-Dixon line. Later in 1859, the term was popularized in a minstrel song, which became the de facto national anthem of the Confederacy during the Civil War. Again, it defies the imagination to think that anyone in 1864 of all years would have thought Dixie referred to anything other than the Confederate States of America. Throughout the US, including the South, Confederate monuments are coming down, Dixie School District should follow these leads by changing its name. And if there's any doubt on what this name actually means, look up slave ships and look up Emmett Till and see those pictures of what they did to human beings. That's what the name represents to some of our brothers.